Hello everyone, today let's learn how to solve an important upstream downstream question on quadratic equation. So let's read the question. A motor boat whose speed in still water is 18 km per hour takes 1 hour more to go 24 km upstream than to return downstream to the same spot. Find the speed of the stream. So friends, we have to find the speed of the stream. So uh, let's just suppose that this is the spot. Here is the boat and this is the stream. Now the boat has to travel from here. It has to travel 24 kilometers and come back to the same spot. Now friends, it's given that in still water, that is when the water is not moving, the speed of the boat is 18 kilometer per hour. Now if the case was that the water is not moving, then the situation would have been very straightforward. But the water is flowing in a particular direction. So let's just suppose that the water is moving in this direction you can take either this or this direction okay so the water is moving in this direction now the boat starts from this spot and it has to go 24 kilometers this way okay friends so did you see this is the direction of the boat and this is the direction of the water so did you notice that both the directions are opposite to one another yes so this is known as upstream okay when the boat direction and the water direction are opposite to one another so friends in this scenario what will be the effective speed of the boat will it be equal to 18 kilometers will it be lesser than 18 kilometer per hour or will it be greater than 18 kilometer per hour what do you think Yes, it will be less than 18 km per hour because in this case, the water is trying to slow down the speed of the boat. Did you see that? So what will be the effective speed of the boat? Yes, it will be 18 minus x km per hour. Remember friends, it won't be x minus 18. Okay, so this is the effective speed of the boat. Now, in this way, the boat reaches 24 kilometers. It covers it and then it has to return to the same spot friends okay it has to return to the same spot so the boat's direction did you notice now it has changed now the direction of the boat and the direction of the water are both the same this is known as downstream what is it known as downstream so in this case friends what do you think will be the effective speed of the boat will it be equal to 18 less than 18 or more than 18 Yes, it will be more than 18 because now the boat is being helped by the water flow because they are both flowing in the same direction. So now the speed of the boat will be 18 plus x kilometer per hour. Okay, friends. Now it's given to us that the upstream time is one hour more than the downstream time. Now, since they're talking about time, friends, let's see what is the relation between time, distance and speed. Yes, we have all learned in science that time is distance by speed. Yes. So let's see what is the upstream time. So the upstream time I just uh, refer to as TU, that will be the distance. Now the distance is always the same it is 24 kilometers divided by the upstream speed what is it yes we just now found out it's 18 minus x this is the upstream time now what is the downstream time yes it will be again 24 but now the speed will be 18 plus x that's right so friends i hope you understood till here now what they are saying again let's read the question they are saying that the upstream time is one hour more so the upstream time is one hour more than the downstream time did you observe how we have now converted the english statement into a mathematical statement so friends this is the most important part of the question make sure you're understanding how we do this so now all we have to do is substitute the value of the upstream and downstream time so it will be 24 divided by 18 minus x equal to 24 divided by 18 plus x plus 1 so friends it's better if I bring all the x to one side okay so now as you can see this is pure algebra I just have to use my knowledge of algebra over here so I take the LCM okay so this is my LCM so it will be 24 now 18 minus x is already here so I'll get 18 plus x I hope you're understanding this okay is equal to 1 okay friends now 24 into 18 I've already calculated it's coming to 432 432 plus 24x okay minus 
24 into 18 so that's another minus 432 and uh, plus 24x okay this is the numerator and what is the denominator yes it is 18 square minus x square can you tell me what identity i have used yes a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b now uh, yes numerator these two will get cancelled 24 plus 24 is 48 x now if i want i can just bring this to the other side friends I can get rid of the denominator so 48x now 18 square I already calculated it's coming to 324 minus x square now it's better if I make my x square as positive so let me bring it to the other side so this is my quadratic equation I hope you got this friends now what do we have to do yes splitting of the middle term for that i need to find the factors of 324 so i just prime factorized it and we get the two factors as 54 and a minus 6 so now i'll get x squared plus 54x minus 6 minus 324 equal to 0. So friends, finding the factors is something that you will get as you practice more and more quadratic equations, okay? So now let me take out whatever I can take is common. Uh, yes, so I'll get x minus 6 bracket x plus 54 equals to 0 so this means x is 6 or x is minus 54 now can the speed of the stream be negative definitely not so this i'm going to reject so please give the proper reasoning that we are rejecting minus 54 because speed cannot be negative that means the speed of the stream is 6 kilometer per hour so friends i hope you understood how to solve this upstream downstream question so friends for practice please do try this similar question and let me know your answers in the comment section below if you found the video useful do like and share consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your comments your feedback any other doubts that you have in the comment section below so till we meet again take care